So you open up your favorite streaming application, like maybe Crackle, which is actually a great application, giving you access to lots of good stuff. But unfortunately, you see a message like that. Uh, let's click on exit. Similarly, another great application, this one here. Now, as you know, most of these official streaming applications are primarily designed for the USA audience. And as I'm based in the UK, we can see if I try to access them, I see errors like this. Now, this is typically where a VPN would come into play because not only does a VPN allow you to change your virtual location, hide your IP address, but also it protects your privacy, allows you to stay anonymous online, and also allows you to access content from different parts of the world. Now, as I mentioned before, either you're looking for a free VPN, a super cheap VPN, or a premium VPN. Now for the free VPNs, I've covered some before like Proton VPN or Award VPN, and the budget one, or the only one that I personally recommend is Iversy. Now in the premium tier, as you guys know, I do primarily use IPVanish, but it's never gonna be a case of one VPN is suitable for everybody. So if you are looking for a different premium VPN, then the other one I would personally recommend is ExpressVPN. Now this is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to make this video. I just want to show you another option, a premium option that you can use on your Fire Sticks, on your Android TVs, on your phones, tablets, even Windows devices. All of that is available to use with ExpressVPN. Let me open up the client on my 4K Fire Stick. The application has a really nice clean layout and it's one of the benefits of using a premium VPN is not only will you typically get access to more servers, more servers around the world, and they also give you some premium features that you won't typically see on free VPNs and definitely not on some of the cheaper $1 a month type of VPNs. Now, for example, if I just click on uh, connect, this will then connect me to a server based in USA, Chicago, and we can see how quickly that connected. Now, before I demonstrate what that actually means is if I go over to options, now we can see they also have these built-in privacy and security tools. So if I click on that, now the first thing we can see is we have an IP address checker and location. So just to confirm that the VPN is doing what it's supposed to be doing, if I click on this, give that a second, and we can now see my new IP address. So what that means is any website, any service, any application I now use, they will think my IP address is that, which actually has a virtual location, as you can see here, somewhere in Chicago. So that particular task of changing your IP address, changing your location, we can see is working absolutely fine with ExpressVPN. Let's go back. The other thing you can also do is check to see if you have a DNS leak. So DNS leaks are very common with cheaper VPNs whereby even though you have a new IP address, if your VPN is not providing new DNS servers and you're still using your ISP's DNS servers, that means they can still track whichever website or service that you're using. But again, we can see with ExpressVPN, if I click on that, I shouldn't see any of the DNS servers for my ISP based in the UK. I should only see DNS servers we can see based in Chicago. So again, no DNS leaks detected. And that itself is actually a great feature whereby you can quickly check to see are you fully protected, fully secured, and that is actually built into ExpressVPN. Okay, let's go back. Now we can have some other tests here, but let's leave that as is. So I'm pretty happy with how secure that is. Now if I go over to settings, we can now look at some of the advanced options. Like for example, you have the option to auto connect. So you can say, as soon as my device wakes up, I want it to connect to a VPN. You can also turn that on, but let's go back. Now split tunneling is also a great feature whereby, as we know now, my device is connected to a server in Chicago. But let's say for example, I want to use a different application, maybe BBC iPlayer, which we know will not work with the Chicago IP address. So in that example, I would open up split tunneling. I would then click on, do not allow selected apps to use a VPN. Click on that and then find whichever application I want to bypass the VPN. So again, split tiling is a great feature and will allow you to segment or split your VPN traffic. You can also change the VPN protocol. So I will do a speed test in just a second, 
but in case you have issues connecting or maybe you don't have the faster speed you can also try some of these other options but for me I'm going to leave it as automatic let's go back okay so let's now actually try and see with this Chicago IP address can I now try crackle let's click on that give that a second and now we can see no more error and I'm straight into that content if I try and click on something click on watch now just to show you that it's not just I can browse the content I can actually click on something and using my Chicago based IP address I'm now fully inside that content and that's working great and let's back out of that let's try Redbox and we can now see no more error and we are straight into that content so ExpressVPN it's doing what it's supposed to changing our location changing our IP address allowing us to access content from different parts of the world and in fact let's now do a quick speed test and then I'll show you the great offer they've got on their prices okay so doing a quick speed test now connected to a server based in the UK let's do a quick test and we can see my device is comfortably pushing more than 160 meg downstream and I will just check a okay so 158 meg downstream and that's plenty plenty of bandwidth even for 8k streaming that's working great let's now try a, a USA based server so even with the USA based server and I'm based in the UK we can comfortably push over it was actually faster than the, the UK servers 169 meg downstream and the upstream is fine so great speeds and this is one of the benefits of using a premium VPN not only do you get those premium features lots of servers from all over the world but you also get those fantastic speeds so it works really well let's now look at the price and here we can see they actually give you 15 months VPN service for the price of 12 so for just over five pounds a month you can get that premium quality VPN service for all of your devices, your phones, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all those devices supported with really fast VPN speeds. They also give you this built-in password manager so you can keep all of your credentials saved. But the key thing is they are so confident with their service, with their speed, they do give you this 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try this out put it onto your device and if for whatever reason you're not happy with it you can get a full refund but honestly guys with these premium VPNs you can just imagine how many companies want to work with me I would say if you're not happy with IPVanish and you're looking for another premium VPN I would definitely recommend ExpressVPN so do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment so you can get this really fast premium VPN at that best possible price so really appreciate your support do leave me a comment below if you've tried this VPN before, what you think of it, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.